Hey everyone, today we're going to be going over how to use Bulkless Builder. We've recently made an update that makes things even easier. So now all you have to do is hold your control key. If you're on a Mac, that's going to be the command key and do a left mouse click. Now you can see a selection box pop up and we can move that around. Um, no need to hold your control key anymore. And we can actually scroll down and whenever we're ready we can go ahead and do a second left click and that is going to add your links now if you want to cancel out a selection you start it the same way and then when you decide you don't want uh, the current selection box you can do a right click and that is going to cancel out the second way we can add links is by holding down our alt key and then right clicking on the individual links we want to add. Now that will make a uh, box around the links we've selected. Then we can right click and click on add highlighted links. And if you select one that you don't want on accident, what we can do is just redo what we did to select it. So alt right click and it will get rid of that link. Now I would recommend this method anytime you have a drop down menu such as this website um, because if we use our control method we will find that sometimes we'll accidentally select some of the links underneath um, the menu and same thing applies to a website like this except now when we try to do the first method the drop down disappears as soon as we create our selection box. The third way we can add a link is by simply right clicking and click on add link. Now a cool trick you can use is by using your first method of selection um, by holding your control key and doing a double click that will essentially make the selection box and then end the selection box right away. So you might find that faster than clicking on add link in the context menu. Now it's worth noting that this won't work on every site because sometimes um, if you're doing it that way it might make you click on the link when you do your double click which is probably going to slow you down so um, it's just a little trick you can use to make things faster. The fourth way we can add links to our list is by using a filter on a website. So if I just want to search fiction I can apply that filter and then go to the bulkless builder menu and click on add address bar link and that is going to add the link from your search bar. Now I just wanted to mention that um, this won't work on every site in tactical arbitrage. Uh, the bulkless builder extension will work but sometimes TA has difficulty recognizing the structure of the URL so just be aware when using this feature. Lastly, I just wanted to go over the bulkless builder extension menu. Now one really cool thing we can do is set our default start and last page. So right now I have it set to one and three and I can select some links and then I can change that number halfway through or however many times I want to say I want to change it to 10. Just remember to click save and then I can select some more links down here and then when I download that file it is going to have the number change halfway through so you can see we have three and then it changes to ten so another thing we can do is we can delete links before downloading so if I select some links and for whatever reason I decide I don't want them anymore I just grab ten let's say I want to get rid of three of those I can click delete last three and it's going to delete the most recent ones we've selected another thing I can do is if I just want to clear out all of the links before downloading I can click on delete all so that wraps up our tutorial on bulk list builder feel free to reach out to me with any questions